And now it's time for another Wellness 101. How to Lower Your BMI Presented by St. Luke's University Health Network. Hey guys, Mr. Wellness here, and today we're going to talk about some simple steps you can take to lower your BMI. If you've ever been to the doctor, you've heard the term BMI. BMI stands for Body Mass Index. In short, Body Mass Index is the ratio of your body fat to your height. If your BMI is between 18.5 and 24.9, you're at a normal, healthy weight. If your BMI is between 25 and 29.9, you're technically overweight. And if your BMI is 30 or higher, you're classified as obese. If you are obese, you have a much greater risk of developing health issues like heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. But no need to panic, my friends. A few relatively small lifestyle changes can have a dramatic impact on your BMI. Step one, set realistic goals. Like anything else in life, it's important to set realistic and attainable goals for yourself. And weight loss is no different. Start by focusing on just 5% of your weight. For example, for a 200 pound person, that's 10 pounds. That mere 5% benchmark can significantly reduce your chance of developing diabetes by a whopping 50%, not to mention lower your risk for hypertension as well. Once you've attained your goal, go for another 5%. Just remember, weight loss is a marathon, not a sprint. So at each 5% you lose, remember to slow down and take time to get established in your new routine so it becomes a habit. Step 2 caloric density. No matter what diet you choose, at the end of the day, you have to expend more calories than you take into your body to lose weight. But watching calories does not mean you have to constantly feel starved between meals. The key is understanding caloric density, or the number of calories in a given weight of food. Take raisins versus grapes, for example. Raisins are high in caloric density, meaning they have a large number of calories in a small weight of food. If you ate a cup of raisins, you would consume 500 calories. Grapes, on the other hand, are low in caloric density, meaning they have much fewer calories in the same weight of food. If you eat a cup of grapes, you'd be consuming only 62 calories. The point is, you can eat a lot more grapes and feel fuller while taking in fewer calories. Some other low caloric foods that are surprisingly filling are Greek yogurt, berries, egg whites, popcorn, fish, watermelon, potatoes, broccoli, and skim milk. Step three, exercise. There's no getting around it, folks. Exercise is essential for promoting weight loss and preventing weight gain. The recommendation is about 150 minutes of moderate exercise per week. That's approximately 20 minutes per day. If you're new to exercise, it's important to start slowly and work your way up. Ideally, your routine should include some form of cardio exercises, like running, biking, swimming, and walking. But don't forget about resistance training. Evidence has shown that lifting weights actually burns more fat and has more promising long-term effects than cardio. But make no mistake, most experts agree that a healthy combination of both will help you achieve your optimal health and fitness level. Making changes to your diet and exercise is certainly not easy. But just know our friends at St. Luke's University Health Network are here to help. First, be sure to speak with your doctor about where to begin so that you can achieve your goals safely and effectively. Next, if you're confused about where to start with your fitness, pop on over to St. Luke's YouTube channel and check out our helpful St. Luke's Fitness at Home series. There you'll find a bunch of exercises you can do at home to help you get started. Lastly, wherever you are with your weight and exercise level, stay positive. Even the slightest change can make a world of difference in your overall health, and your positive attitude will help keep you in the game. Remember, you may not be able to do everything, but you can always do something. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Wellness 101.